We decorate our homes for Christmas and Mardi Gras, so why not French Quarter Fest? Interior designer Chet Porsche is here with us with a few ideas and everything French Quarter ideas, of yes. course. And you can't miss this. this is the gorgeous portrait of the French Quarter Festival this year. I actually think this is probably one of the best posters mm -hmm. that the French Quarter Fest has done. They extended the um, French Quarter Fest one more day and they've also added some really beautiful stuff. So today we're going to talk about things that or you can find in the French Quarter that you can actually incorporate into your own home design. Mm -hmm. And this what better to start like a, with? This is like a must have poster You this have year. to have this poster this year. Even if you don't go to the French Quarter you t Festival, which everybody should go, this is a poster that you definitely should have. And we got it framed. You know, once again, it's a statement piece. It's a great way to add New Orleans or the French Quarter Fest into your home. Also, they came out with the French Quarter um, pendant, which is really nice. You know, this is something that they'll be selling also at the French Quarter. Just a nice accent added piece. If you're out there, if you get the poster, this is another great thing mm -hmm. as a gift to give somebody. Be a somebody. necklace or a pin. It could, yes. Really beautiful. It has the French Quarter logo on it as well. That's right, right out there. Yep, and That's the fleur de lis. You know, we were just talking, Kim, and a lot of things that you see in the French Quarter, you can actually incorporate into your own home design. You know, the actual colors that you will see in the French Quarter, this is a color that's really popular. It's called the French Quarter Green. You see this a lot. But also in a lot of the French Quarter homes, and you just brought up a great point. I was saying the that doors. the doors always stand out. Yeah, they always have different bright colored doors. So a great way that you can add to your own French Quarter design is you could paint the door of your home into one of these great French Quarter colors. And if you go to places like Benjamin Moore and Sherman Williams, they can actually tell you what are some of the signature colors that the French Quarter doors are painted in. It's usually a historic color that they will have. That I always they can see a lot of teal or the aqua colors. You're right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they also paint underneath their, um, the outside roof of their um, house, this really bright color or the blue to kind of calm me down. So the next thing is that, you know, in the French Quarter, you also, if you had a chance to go into the French Quarter homes, you would see a lot of these beautiful fabrics that you would see. You know, French Quarter fabrics that they use in French Quarters is usually a lot of antique. You see a lot of silks a lot of tapestry, a lot of damask, and sometimes even the you know bright colors and they actually tone them down and make them the more muted colors, these darker colors that would work with antiques but also work with anything you had going on in your home. These type of styles you don't usually see go out of style no. necessarily. No, these are styles that you're right, they stay mm -hmm. in, you know, and they're good transitional pieces, which means that they can transition from modern to tradi traditional or even transitional. So these are really good fabrics. And you don't have to spend a lot of money on these fabrics. You can actually get them from, you know, very, you know, affordable places. Joann's, Hancock's, Interior Fabrics. The, the next thing is... The lantern. I've seen a lot of homes being rebuilt in Lakeview, and mm -hmm. one of the most popular things I'm seeing is the lanterns on houses. Yes, this is from Bevelo, and Bevelo is really known for their gas copper lanterns, mm -hmm. which you see everywhere in the French Quarter. But now you're not just seeing them in the French Quarter. Like you said, you're seeing them all along the New Orleans area that you can actually add a great French Quarter feel by adding one of these gas lanterns. Yeah, it's like the signature piece of the house. Absolutely. You know, and what I just realized when I was talking to the people at Bevelo is that now the gas lanterns, you don't just have to get them as gas lanterns. They're also electrified. So you can, if you don't have a gas line, but you still want the look of the French Quarter, you can have the copper lanterns, but also electrify them. And these are some great little things that they also have at Bevelo, which you will see around the French Early Quarter. Early Christmas presents. Christmas presents, <laughs> exactly. So these are great little things that I, you know, think would work really well with any interior which has a great French Quarter feel to it. You know, we always try to end the segment with the DIY, which is the do-it-yourself segment. In the French Quarter, you will see a lot of brick, cobblestone, either fireplaces, you know, sometimes on the walls and also on the floors. So if you have a brick fireplace or flooring, or if you want to rebuild and do this, what you can do is to enhance it and put a different feel to it. And what I have here is just an oil-based stain and a lime wash. And what you do is you take it and basically, you know, we talked about this before on the show, and you just enhance it with this. It just gives it a completely different feel to it, just a completely different feel, and it enhances it and makes it something. And then after you're done with that, you know, we always have to just like wipe it off. And it turns it from that red color that most people are familiar with the brick to this really beautiful age enhanced look. So that's just a great way to add to your 
fireplace or your flooring in your house if you want to have a French Quarter feel, mm -hmm. but you don't live in the French Quarter. Now or, the lime glaze, what is that? Usually? The lime glaze is basically the same thing. It will turn it a different color. Mm -hmm. You know, this is white, so it'll turn it kind of like a white wash, which is really popular right now, but also just enhances it and give it, it gives it another look. So I hope these ideas can really help you to, you know, get your house into the French Quarter mood because we're in French Quarter Fest season. And that's a yearly thing. That's <laughs> exactly. That's all year long. That's it's not all, like one time a year. I agree. I agree. <laughs> and don't forget about the poster. You can get it this weekend. They have many spots. You can go on fox8live.com for more information on French Quarter fashions and information on all the designs at fox8live.com. Chef Portia, thank you so much You're for all welcome. your great ideas. Thank you. Should be a great weekend. It's going to be you a lot of fun. There? I am going to go out there and enjoy the weather. All right. <laughs> The French Quarter Festival isn't the only event happening in New Orleans this weekend. Head to City Park to work out for a cause. The Tour de Lee returns tomorrow. We'll have details later in the hour.